Well, we're here in preparation for the Groveland, where the hell is Groveland car show? And Wayne is working on his 34, and he is having a window problem. He had the window replaced, and now the window jams part way up, and uh, we're going to have to find the bind point now on I that. Come down here. We're going to take a look around here like at some of the other cars wheel. down here at the shop. And as you can see, there's some interesting looking hot rods here. We're going to go on around and take a look at Milt's rat rod. Now Milt completed this a couple of years ago. And uh, this is really amazing. It's a 1930 Chevrolet body and a 47 Ford rear end. Up front here we have a 300 Buick engine with a four barrel carb on it there. Notice the headlights. Those are off a 47 Chevy pickup. Teardrop headlights. Kind of a fascinating point there. Milt's got the big white walls on it. Now this is a Jaguar front end. And uh, right at the front here, I'm hoping you can see this. This is a tractor nose radiator cover grill, whatever you want to call it. This is a McCormick Deering tractor nose. A little wobbly here coming around. And of course, we've got the McCormick Deering sign there. Right. Coming on around, as you can see that, uh, see the light coming through right there, if, but, uh, if it rains, Milt's going to need an umbrella, All right. but a rat rod is truly a rat rod. This has some nice homey touches, as we can see, we have very interesting door handles on this side and we'll run around here to the other side and check out the custom door handles over here. There we go. All right. And that's about it for Milt's ride except for one little factor, right? When you have a rat rod you have to have a rat right on the top. Okay, so much for Milt's ride. This is going to be an interesting car show this weekend, and uh, we'll try and swing down and, and get it. I'm doing a video. Oh, speaking of the owner, here, this is Milt, all right? And You're Milt, I already told him it's a 19, uh, 1930 Chevy. Right, with a 47 Ford rear end? 49 Ford, 49 rear, Ford rear end. and 78 Jaguar front end. Right, got that. 64 Buick motor. Right. 300 cubic inch. Underslung. The frame and everything is under the axles. Right, now uh, go ahead and tell them how much you chopped it and channeled it. I chopped it 5.5 inches and channeled it 3 inches. I built my own custom frame. It's a 65 Mustang radiator. Most of the parts and everything I found at the swap meets and stuff like that. The rear fenders are off of a 38 Plymouth pickup. <laughs> the headlights are off a 47 Chevy pickup. And the rest of the stuff I manufactured. And so this is the reason they call them rat rods. Yeah. They're made of parts and pieces from every kind of junkyard expedition that you can believe, but what we end up with is a fascinating car. Hey, tell you what, Milt, can you power it up for one sec? All right. We'll, uh, we'll back up just to get the entire effect here. what a rat rod is all about. Yeah, here we are. Diane is driving the 
34 Ford, and she's having a ball. As long as she doesn't get a lead foot while we're all fine and dandy. Keep it between the navigational beacons, please. <laughs> no power steering. Here we go. You're lost. dancing now. We're in trouble. Well, you're lucky you don't have any rock and roll going on. Otherwise, we'd have to strap her down to keep her in her seat. Yeah, we're on pontoon. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, believe it or not, with Diane at the wheel, we actually made it home. And there she is, having had a very, very, very fun afternoon. Wee doggies! Wee doggies is right. <laughs>